Indeed, joining us then from St. Bernard in Jersey. But let's head off to Torquay Marina now. And that's where we find Terry on his 28-foot, 10-inch wooden motorboat that's called Suncracker. And apparently it's, I assume it's the boat that's almost 50 years old and not Terry. Good evening to you, Terry. Uh, yeah, she's a little bit younger than me. Uh, yeah, good evening, Duncan. Good evening. Listen, lovely talking to you. So tell us something about Suncracker. How long have you had her, Terry? Um, well, I've had her about six years, mm -hmm. uh, Duncan. She uh, needs a bit of maintenance, a lot of TLC. Um, but she's a bit of a classic, and uh, she's looked after us very well on this holiday. Oh, fantastic. Well, I can imagine being a wooden boat, she would take a fair amount of maintenance with a lot of TLC, as you say. Um, for, yeah, I had her out of the water for a couple of years, um, just, just re-varnishing and stripping her down, repainting her. She's looking very nice at the moment. And there's something about it. When you get a wooden <coughs> boat like that, and as you say, something that's almost 50 years old, so she would be a bit of a classic, they're, they're in a league of their own, really, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And she's, you know, we're getting a lot of admiring comments and it's very nice you mm -hmm. know she's uh, uh attractive very pretty so normally she's more at cows on the isle of Wight, is that right yes that's that correct yes and we were, we're on holiday in the west country we left cows on the 16th of may and uh we originally planned to be back by the end of june but um unfortunately the weather's not been cooperating but we don't mind well, I was going to say, if you're on board the Suncracker, and she's, well, 28 foot, so you've got a fair bit of luxury there, really, haven't you? Well, yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. And, uh, in, you know, in the bad weather, we've really, we're have really we Radio Solent um, fans, so we've really enjoyed listening to Radio Devon and Radio Cornwall. Oh, excellent. So you can pick up yeah. Solent quite happily on the yeah, Isle of Wight, so I assume. when we're sat in the boat, and it's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> raining... Oh. Uh huh. Um, yeah, we're ha we're happily listening to the radio. Right. Well, I assume actually the weather's not been that much better on the Isle of Wight. To be fair, has it? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they had it pretty rough when mm. the uh, festival. Oh, on. it was dreadful. Yes, I remember yeah, seeing yeah, the film yeah. on yeah. television. Poor things. They really That's suffered. Right. Yeah. They suffered so badly. And it's such a shame because cows. I mean, I know quite cows quite well. And when the, uh, I mean, when it's a beautiful sunny day there and the sun is shining and oh, it's absolutely idyllic, isn't it? Well, it is, it is, but there's plenty of idyllic places down here. Well, there is, that's true. I tell you what yeah. I like about cows, you've got that little ferry that goes from, from one side to the other there. Well, the chain ferry. Yeah, yeah. and it's so yeah. cheap. Um, I forgot what it, it costs. It is if you're a pedestrian, <laughs> you don't have to pay anything. No, you don't, that's true, pedestrians go free, but I remember going along there, last, actually it was last year, and I forgot what it cost, and I thought, well, that is actually pretty good. I was quite pleased with that. Yeah, well, it's a very short trip. It is a short trip, but my <laughs> goodness, it saves a lot of driving, doesn't it? It does. It does yeah. And is it from east to west cars? I can't remember now. Uh, well, it runs between the two, mm -hmm. back and backwards and forwards. That's on the right. Chain. Between yeah. e Yes, between east and west, doesn't it? East and that, west That's cars, right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Then if, the, if the tide's up, it's about 100 yards. If it's tides down, it's about 50 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the same. So it's a lot of driving, and if you're a foot passenger, yeah, it says an awful right, lot of walking. Yeah, that's true. It saves you about eight or nine miles. That's yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, Terry, come on, let's get you on our Hall of Fame. Let's have a listen to this chap. This right. symbolises a national enthusiasm, I think. Well, Sandy was totally, totally convinced that it was John Betjeman, and prior to that, we had Michael Parkinson and John Sargent. So who do you think? Well, I, I, I decided I was totally convinced, and now I've decided I'm maybe not quite so convinced, but I think it's a politician sadly no longer with us and a uh, big Plymouth Argyle fan. I think it might be Michael Foote. Michael Foote. Yes, indeed. They gave him a, a, a shirt. Was it on his 90th birthday? They I think. did. They did. That's yeah. right. Yes, indeed. Yeah. A massive Plymouth Argyle fan, of course, Michael Foote. Let's have a listen. So this symbolizes a national enthusiasm, I think. <laughs> Again, it sounds like him. It's one of these voices that sounds like so many people, but have you nailed it? Mm. Terry? Afraid not, sir. It is, <laughs> it is not Michael Foote, but it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks ever so much That's for listening you, to us. Yeah. And uh, whenever the weather sort of turns and you have a, sa you have a safe trip back, won't you? Yeah, many thanks. Thanks, Terry. Bye-bye okay, now. Okay, thanks, Duncan. Bye. Bye. Terry joining us then from on board the Suncracker in Torquay Marina. Terry from the Isle of Wight. And prior to that, Sandy and St. Brellard.